Well, welcome back to my channel, and thank you for dropping by again. And we're on episode four of American Teens in Tehran in the 70s. My story about our life in Iran. So, today's video was going to be about uh, our ride from the airport to uh, the hotel in downtown Tehran near the U.S. Embassy. But an incident at work which I will briefly describe next, triggered another story about Iran. So before the wild ride to Taktajamshid Boulevard, I'll be revealing why our family was sent to Iran by the military in the first place. Again, I want to thank you for joining me here and uh, watching my videos and visiting my channel. So uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and uh, hit the notification so you don't miss any of these stories because I got a lot of them and they're just gonna start piling up. Sort of like getting in debt. You're, you miss a payment, then you miss another payment, pretty soon you can't catch up. So be sure to subscribe, hit the notifications, give me a thumbs up and uh, share these videos and comments. I actually comment on them because that helps me grow the channel. Thank you and Let's start the story. Some of y'all know already that I've done a lot of things from military operations to electronic systems design and installation and software development. Own three martial arts schools and the economy went bad. Bounced six bars for five years and ended up as a tractor trailer driver. Turns out that trucking company I work for now, some brilliant person shipped two and a half million dollars in illegal drugs through our terminal and forgot to pay the bill, or they might have got away with it. DEA hung out with us until the next day, then loaded up the freight in one of our trucks and at least 10 agents escorted that truck to the receiver. Long story short, the receiving end was arrested Friday. I had volunteered to drive the truck since I had done drug interdiction in Central America with the Army back in the day, but they had their own truck driver. Too bad. That would have been fun. But the whole thing reminded me of why we went to Iran in 1971 in the first place. Yes, see my dad was assigned the anti-narcotics and counterterrorism advisor to the government of Iran at the time to help them with some big trafficking problems of hashish, opium, and heroin. Dad was a Vietnam vet and career warrant officer in the U.S. Army CID, Criminal Investigations Division, a very accomplished agent, and this assignment was quite an honor and boost to his career. He spent the previous year, and then some, in the prestigious Defense Language Institute at the Presidio of Monterey, where he studied Persian Farsi, and culture eight hours a day, five days a week, for over a year. I would follow in his footsteps decades later, becoming an Arabic linguist. All of us lived at Fort Ord, just a few miles from the Presidio. So there you have it, now you know. The reason we were assigned to Iran in 1971 in the first place is because my dad was attached to the Gendarmerie mission in Tehran, sent there by the U.S. military to be the Shah's advisor on uh, anti-narcotics and counterterrorism. And our life changed from that day on in ways we would never know. But these adventures will tell that whole story. So return often. And stay tuned, subscribe, like, share, comment, all the good stuff so that you'll uh, not miss any episodes.